Um, I just ordered, well, didn't just order it. I ordered a, a cement mixer, concrete mixer from Amazon. Um, there's so many um, comments saying that the directions are hard. And from what I looked at the directions real quick, quickly, uh, it didn't look too complicated. Doesn't have that many pieces. The um, accessories are plainly marked, so I'm hoping it's just gonna go smooth. Um, the motor itself is right there. There's only one problem so far with this this delivery. This box looked like it was dropped from a building. It had holes in it, parts were sticking out. It actually says fragile, fragile, and they um, covered it up with the hole with it. Um, several holes in it. The box was a mess. And I mean, everything looks okay inside, but that's to be seen when I put it together. I don't have my tools with me now, so this is going to be in parts. I mean, this is the first part they want to put together. First step. It's hard to do with holding a phone. So, I'm going to pause this here and look for my tools, and then I'll continue. Didn't look for my tools yet, but the first step was the whole package A. They want you to attach... I guess what they call what do they call it? Attach the support leg as shown with the provided um, accessories that are in bag A. I'm sorry, I showed you the wrong direction. I was showing you the step two. Step one was to attach the support leg with the two. Uh, I can't do it with my finger. Okay, so now I'm gonna go find tools. Now the second part is to attach the axle to the frame. And it tells you bag B, which are the same um, accessories that were in bag A. So far, pretty simple. Um, I do, I did look ahead a little bit and it's showing the wheels on it. And I didn't see, right now I didn't look at the rest of the accessories, but I didn't see her the clips that hold them on and they're not saying it in here so hopefully I'll get to that part let me install that to that okay um all my tools are at my sister's house because I was doing work for her over there I'm using this um, crescent wrench as simple as just tighten it down when I get my tools I'll fix it I'll tighten it up more lock wash it. The other one actually locked, but okay, let me pause it for here and see what, what else is do. Okay, I found the clips and it comes with covers. They were they, they're in a bag that wasn't marked. Pretty simple. Um wheels just slipped on pretty easily. I actually put this one the wrong way and I couldn't take it back off. That's how snug it is. Oh. Putting that clip on is kind of difficult because they don't leave you enough room to put the clip flat and slide it on. So you actually have to put one side on and get a little tiny screwdriver or whatever inside or nail and flop it over. I'll see if I can show you on the other one. Oh. fit okay I doubt I'm gonna be able to do this with one hand see the clip to slide it on that way won't work because the edge is in a way so you got to actually get it in there like that and then take a small screwdriver or something you can pry it on well, these clips aren't a great, um, great clips because this one, when I pried it, it actually stayed spread apart. So I had to take the pliers and pinch them together. 
it's kind of loose right now you can see but um yeah it's supposed to have a spring reaction to it it's supposed to come it's supposed to be able to force it in and it pinches close again but this one didn't want to stay close but i think it's not good enough okay it's wheel number two on to the next step from what the picture showed I don't know what these parts are called. This got slid onto this part. And this part was already installed, so I just slipped it into here. They wanted you to have two people, but I did it with no problem by myself. That had to go on here, so this can go in here. And let me read more into what does it want me to do now. Now it's telling me to put the bolts there in the C, big C, into these holes to, put, to hold the drum on. So I'm gonna do that now. Now I gotta mount the mixing blades. with the ball fitter in big D. Let me set them up. I don't know, directions are saying a leather washer should be threaded onto it, but I didn't see any kind of leather washer. So I don't know what, what that part is all about. I don't know if it's just missing. Well, it was in bag D was the bolts. So, I don't know. Um, I'm assuming they're going like that. I don't know how that's supposed to work because the, the blade ain't touching the bottom of the barrel, which is supposed to mix the cement when it's like, like that. But, which means that there's going to be a gap there, so... The, it doesn't fit the other way, so it has to go this way. So, let me try to put that on now. Um, I noticed that this is all banged up. So, I'm going to have to try to... The paint easily chips off, see? <clears throat> it barely touched the ground. Well, this was already chipped because it's all, it looks all beat up. And I, I, if you see, I, I got to... I got to bend this out so it fits over that. Um, but um, the parts that touch the floor... The ground, um, like the axle, it was already chipped from the from just laying the ground. I guess it was chipped from laying the ground. Maybe it was chipped already. But um, yeah, this I didn't even take it out of the box. This is the way it was out of the box. So I don't know if this was used already or somebody returned it. But let me continue putting together. Both parts of the barrel have an arrow arrows on it to where. They want you to set the, the first bolts. So I lined them up. And if you can see, I gotta take pliers and pull that bag out. Give me a second. Okay, so I looked at the pack at the directions. I don't know why it's not it's only like it's focusing. But anyway, it shows that wet leather washer is supposed to be inside um, bag D. There was no leather washers. Um, I lined the arrow up. I simply pull these out with a good pair of these, these pliers. I just grabbed it and bent it out. It, it's very thin um, steel. Um, and now I'm gonna get the bolts and attach the, the barrels, part, um, the two barrel parts. Okay, there's um, <clears throat> two different bolts in here. The skinnier ones, there's supposed to be six of them. You've got to go to attach the two barrel halves. So let me do that now. Well, that took some work. Um, these um, lock washers are really tiny. I only have that adjustable wrench, which it's not working properly. It's 
all trade. I think that used to be a Kmart brand. And the adjustable part of it is really hard to work. You don't get it tight and you go to readjust it, it won't move. You gotta bang it on the ground just to get it to, to move. Um, screwdriver, you can barely get the, I try to get my um, DeWalt, um, my DeWalt uh, screwdriver in there, but it was too close to here. Found the extension for it, but the the bid isn't that good, and it, it started stripping a couple of them, so I had to do it by hand. Um, and it took a lot of work because this is moving around at the same time. You're trying to hold a broken adjustable wrench on it and trying to turn a screwdriver. So now I'm going to try to get this lined up, the, the blades. And then I'm going to snug down the the bolts in here. They tell you to put it on loosely first, so that's what I've done. Um, like I said, there's no lock washes, um, leather washes. So maybe maybe there was an adjustment to their, their system, whatever they did here. Um, because um, now the washers do look like... Um, the, um, the nuts do look like they have a, like a washer attached, but um, they're not lock washers. So let me attach those bolts. I'll have to wait till tighten up the, the blades on the bottom. This I tightened, and I think they had this together before. I'm not sure if they put it together when they um, build it to test it, but it already had a crease in here before I even tightened it up. And you can see how when I tightened it up, it actually dented it in because it didn't really match line up properly. Same thing with this side, it pulled it in. Um, I can't tighten up the bottom ones right now because it's going to need a socket wrench. I can't get in there with the adjustable pliers, uh, the adjustable wrench. Now to move on to putting on the, there's a couple of pieces left as well. It's got that, the handle, and the motor, and a belt. So far it's pretty simple, except for putting on, uh, attaching the, the two halves together with the lock watch, lo lock nuts and the uh, screw heads. Um, that's the only thing that gave me problems. It's pretty easy so far. Yeah, there must have been some, some kind of, some alterations with their, um, their recipe to put this together because they didn't come with spring washers. They came with just lock nuts. Um, uh, and it doesn't... This one's saying, uh, what's, where did I see it? Um, oh, cap, it's called a cap nut. I just came with a regular um, lock, a lock nut and a screw. That's all it came with. So, um, now on to, um, I'm putting the rest together. Just wanted to point that out that there are things that are different here. Well, the directions end at tightening up the um, the blades. Then the sentence is cut off here because it says shaft at the leg end. There's no beginning to that sentence. Um, but anyway, um, it's attaching, I guess, two, the two bolts to the tipping, um, tipping handle. This, this has got to be uh, attached to here. So, let me... Get that together. I attached this plate to this part. I'm going to attach the handle so when you tip the barrel, you can lock into those preset holes. Okay, so the picture on the directions for this part is horrible. Um, I don't know why my phone's not focusing on this, but. You can't see, it doesn't matter, it's not focused, it doesn't make a difference. Springs gotta go in the pipe here. Then you gotta squeeze it on the shaft, force this bolt through to come out here. Takes a little work. If you had two people, it'd probably be a lot easier, but I did it without without much problems. Um, but yeah, it wasn't, it wasn't clear on the picture and the directions of what exactly I had to do. So basically that's it and you know, just, Springs it back and forth so you can turn it. I gotta put the bolt on, the nut on, so far. Um, 
I still don't put that on yet, but I gotta tighten it. But basically, you, you do that. So when you tighten it up, well, basically, you pull this and it's, the spring is pushing it back in. <clears throat> it locks in place how you want it. You can see all the chips already. I don't know if that was already there or I did it by doing what I'm doing. Um, now I guess onto the motor. Okay, I slid the, they call the transmission, into place. I put the bolts on temporarily. Get this one bolt here. And these bolts were already attached to the motor itself. And I just put the two nuts on it. Um, one one thing to note that some of these screws were loose. And this one was really loose and it just turns. I'm not sure if that's going to be a problem. Which looks like it will be a problem because it's supposed to be tight. But we'll see how it plays out. And another thing I don't get, that's a belt right there. This ain't belt driven, it's gear driven, so I don't know what, what a belt's doing in here. That's weird. I know I seen that it said it was um, gear driven, and when I seen the belt, I thought maybe I made a mistake, but I don't understand what that, why that's in there. I didn't see it in the directions either. Okay, so let me tighten down those bolts. Okay, so I put the motor on. It's tight fairly, um, pretty decent. And I'll have to get a socket wrench and do more because I couldn't get in there with the adjustable. Um, this is how it rotates. And I just plugged it in. Let's turn it on. It makes a lot of noise. So, basically it's a mixer. It just spins and mixes your concrete around. Um, um, I, I, the name, there's no name on this mixer. Um, I try to look at the name on the, on the cover. I guess it's some kind of generic a mixer that um, anybody puts their name on and can sell it. Like um, More like a, what do you call it? Um, I forgot what you call it. <laughs> You can buy merchandise from people, from uh, manufacturers, and put your name on it and stuff. But I don't know. I think it might be Yardmaster or Yard. I'll have to look it up, and I'll, I'll put it in the description and below. Um, this one, I, the one I was looking at was 1.6 cubic uh, feet of, of concrete mixes at a time. Um, that was 169 it immediately went off like it got it disappeared it um it was the only one that had good um ratings and good um reviews and as soon as i i went to buy it it was no longer available then i, I waited and waited and then it came back online where it was available again but for some reason it was then 220. this one was 199. uh i think it was i want to say 3.5 um, feet, um, cubic feet, but I think I checked and it was a little smaller. I, somehow I got mixed up with the ones that I was looking at. It might be, I think, two and a half or something like that. But it's going to be good for what I, I'm going to use it for. Basically, mixing up a little concrete. I did this concrete over here by hand. I did it in three separate pours and it took a lot of work. And I'm doing it with buckets and a mixing, mixing um, pail, um, pan, and it's just too much work. I, I actually for a living I drive a, con a concrete mixer, but there's not enough here to even bring home some concrete, so I ain't gonna bother. I'll do it by hand. I got a big pour. I'll um, I'll bring leftover concrete from a job or something. But yeah, um, this will do the job. I got a few, quite a few, bit a few um, small projects like this. Um, I got I got a 
put concrete around the sides of the, the house because, like I said, they built um, this. This concrete is like right up against the wall. It, it, there's no slope away from it. It's barely a slope. So I wanna, just want to put a little wall around it so it ain't touching the, the side of the building or going into the building. Um, I'm in the process of a ref, um, ref, yeah, renovating the whole house. It's an old house. But um, yeah, this will come in handy for what I want to use it for. I hope this helps. I hate when you're buying something, you're left in the dark, you don't know what it looks like, you don't know how to, how easy it's going to be to put together, or if it's going to be able, if you're able, capable of doing it. I was able to do this with just a screwdriver and an old adjustable wrench that doesn't work by myself. So if you can handle, um. If you can figure out what directions say, that was pretty good. I don't know why people saying that the directions uh, were horrible. Um, everything was good except for this part over here that didn't have a good um, um, good illustration of what I'm supposed to do here, but I figured it out. Um, it's just common sense. Like I said, um, I hope that helps with um, the size and the shape of it. I mean, it's really not a big opening, so it might be 10 inches. Uh, it's a barrel that spins it mixes your concrete up and that's all it does it, it shouldn't it should be as long as the motor works and i mean it's gonna probably drip if you make it too wet it's probably gonna drip out of these openings there's no um, seal in it so i wouldn't do it over something like a, a nice driveway if you're mixing concrete um i don't know what else i could say it's like i said it's not that big there goes my dog. He's a large dog, but he's not a German Shepherd size, and that's how small that thing is. I wish I could put it against something that you can tell. It's, it's, it's really tiny, and my car's in the background. Okay. Yesterday, I finished this uh, mixer up, and at the end of the video, I mentioned this belt didn't say it anything anywhere in the directions um, it, it was the gasket I was I realized it was a gasket to this thing I didn't realize it because yes I was really tired and it was weird because I woke up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom and I thought about it that how this would get all messed up with wet concrete if um, it leaked and as soon as I thought about that I realized that that was a, a gasket i seen videos where the, the, the liquid was actually dripping out of the, the barrel, which um, I just assumed that didn't have anything to do with it. And then I realized it when I, when I put it all together. And while I was sleeping, and woke, when I woke up in the middle of the night, dead tired, I figured it out. So I, took, I got my tools, I took the screws off, and took the top off. And there's no way you can do this by yourself. But I figured out if I put the screws to the bottom, it seems to line up perfectly. And hopefully I can put the, the, the top back on without too much problems. But yeah, it, doesn't, it didn't want to stay there. And when I put the screws on the top, it still didn't want to stay there. But pushing it to the bottom, and actually, the screw actually grabbed onto the, to the rubber. So I'm going to try to put that on now. Okay, so I got the gasket in. It's still going to leak because... This is loose. I got as tight as it can go, and this can go in and out. The only thing I can do, maybe, is to drill holes between the bolts and put in some more bolts. That'll be another time. But um, now, finally, it's done. So at the end of this video, if I still have it in, didn't cut it out, saying that I don't know what it's for, that's what that, that belt was for. It's actually a gasket.